Hello, I am back again. I'm um, going to do a mixed media flower vase today. Um, I've got all my supplies out, um, mess everywhere. Um, I've done a very, very basic sketch here. You can see a, a bit of a table and the outline of a vase, maybe just about. Start off with the inside of the vase. I'm just going to do in blue. Oh. Messed up already. Didn't want to go that high. Start again. Okay, um, I'm going to do the background first as well. Oh no, look what's happened to my brush. That's very annoying. go with a move this down a bit just to mix this colour using a bit of sort of Payne's grey with some uh, burnt sienna I think or everywhere. Just turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to need more of that. Let's mix it up now before I end up having different colours all over the place. Maybe I'll risk getting the hair straighteners on this brush, it's uh, a little bit ruined. I'll stick it in boiling water, I've heard that can help. Oh, there's drying. that to dry before I can do anything else. So bear with me a second. There we go, that's all dry. And I'm going to do the background with a bit of a gradient. So I want it quite pale up here and certainly in the middle. I'm going to do some flowers. 
I'm going to use the Tundra Violet. Uh, it's the Schmincke Super Granulating. Two palettes I've got up here are my Schmincke Horror Dam and my Winsor Newton Professional. Whoop, other way around. Hair dryer on that brush seems to have done the trick. Oh, turn. oh no. wait too soon. That might. I think uh, definitely used too much paint there. I didn't. I guess I sort of forgot how light I'd be going and over squeezed. Oh, it's watercolour. Can reactivate it. Oh, good. Okay, but once again, I'm going to need to wait for that to dry before I can carry on. Um, oh, got a little, some little gaps from the edges. Yeah, I shall be back in a moment. Right, so now it's time to add some flowers. Um, what kind of cool tones going on here? Um, I think I'm going to stick with some blue, but maybe add in a bit of um, maybe a sort of warm orange, not a warm orange, like a sort of aut autumnal. Uh, first off, we need some stems. I want to try and get a few different greens in the go.
just one more over here. I've got a transparent orange, but it's new, so I might just try that out. I think that's quite nice. Risky driving that water back and forth over the and uh, get some of that sepia that's in the bottom. Add some contrast in there. And um, oh, I know what I might do actually. I can't remember what this colour's called. No, I'm going to use it. I want all this to sort of blend together and Too much brown in there, but it'll be fine. I'm going to use some blue to sort of tie all this. Um, more of that blue over there. I'm going to do some. It's considerably darker than I'm going to lift some of that up. Just make sure I'm keeping some leaves 
in the mix as well. The pigment wanted there, was it? Whoops, a daisy. Let's um, see blue. more orange I've got more blue down here. That's it. That's um all the painting done, all oh, splattered everywhere. I have to go over this again. Let's do that now. Let me make a bluer. Make sure the wash looks even with all those water drops I got everywhere. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Now because I've got it, it's all wet, I'm going to add in just 
touch of blue down here, try and add a bit of shadow. And it's darker over that side, maybe I should have had the shadow this side. Let's do that. It's shining through glass, so it's a bit different to shadows on solid things. risk of overworking this now but do you want to add a little bit more blue over here there we go oh the lack of leaves in this vase isn't there I was missing something. Mm. Mm. That might come out of the vase. Right, so I need to get that dried now. Oh, lost a bit of orange here actually. Let's just touch that up a bit. Right, I'm going to get it dried and I'll be back in a moment. Right, that's all dry. Um, and now I'm going to start by adding some coloured pencils. Got these artesian ones. Oh, clunk. Okay. Do a little swatch chart here so I know what all the colours are. Mm. Uh, where to start? Where to start? Um, something for the garnet red. Which one's that? This one. No, no. for the blue uh, not anything that matches all that well yeah. just need to sharpen it a sec ultramarine is that gonna hmm, maybe I should try and lighten it up a bit we'll go with a purple Thank you. 
through that one. Um, and the orange. some greens. Um. Oh, yeah, moss green I think. Using the washi tape there. Shouldn't matter too much at this point, though, to be fair. green for those. I might actually go for a jade green which is a bit blue but I just spotted a Mr. Green one somewhere. Okay. That's oh, and some white pencil which I'm going to put over here. Highlight off the light shining through the bars. Some of those colours I just used to some little dots in the background. And a little bit of that ultramarine blue. Right, I'm just going to pause while I get the next supply. I've unpaused because I want to add some. Uh, depth to this. Water. Just. Mm. OK, 
shall I erase that? Right. Can I erase the pencil lines? Maybe they're just There we go, now on to the next next bit. Hello, so I'm back, I've got a few paint markers, um, but I did just think I want to add a bit of texture to this uh, ground, but second thing, so I'm not sure this is the right shade. This washi tape keeps coming up. Yeah, that would do. Maybe just add a little the brown paint mark as well. I'm going to add a little more definition on these ones. Not much because that's actually lighter than I thought it was going to be. I do want some yellow stamens in the middle. Is that what they're called? I should know that, but. a little bit. Even worse. Ooh. Ooh, that's definitely working now. No, I don't rate these Yoni markers. Every single one I've had is dried out. I don't like them. The frisk one instead is not quite the same colour. But... Hopefully make these pop a little bit and just add some little dots to
um, and want some white. Oh, no. Got this navy, I'm going to add some. depth to these blue flowers. Similarly, I want to make them pop a little bit, so I'm going to Add some white dots too. This also needs to These yellow ones a bit more prominent. I'm going to want some more white, I think. I've got one last thing I want to add. Now bear with me. And I've got these Derwent Academy oil pastels that I got for a few quid at uh, Tea Green Max. I'm just going to sort of create some more texture. Add a bit of yellow here as well, just to try and vibe, get this a bit more vibrant. Mm, definitely add some this to here. Washi tape would come back and haunt me. Should have replaced it. Right. Okay, I'm going to have to do that again in a minute. Um, and get a bit of red on.
more white over here. Um, and some fun thing to do is uh, that show up and sort of twist them and get these little circles. showing up a bit better with the blue. I think we need some white dots in the background as well. a bit darker than I would have liked some I don't know how I can lighten it up a bit more we add some highlights to some of these leaves I'm going to do some orange on this as well. Oh. Yep, that'll do. Right. So, I'll put that way after. I've got my lucky hands, but we'll risk it. Take it off the pad. Um, paper was the Windsor and Newton 25% uh, cotton paper. It's very nice. Um, let's get a bit. There we go. That should have been shifted down a bit. Um, Not too much of the the table and not enough of the but oh well turned out okay because they're a bit darker than I'd like and the composition's gone a bit wrong but yeah, it was fun. So hopefully you enjoyed watching. Uh thank you very much and I will see you again soon.